common resources, like public goods, are not excludable. Thus, they are available free of charge to anyone who wants to use them. However, common resources are rival in consumption, one person's use of the common resource reduces another person's ability to use it. Thus, common resources give rise to a new problem. This problem is best understood from the classic parable called the tragedy of the commons. Consider life in a small medieval town. One of the most important economic activity of this town is raising sheep. Many of the town's families own flocks of sheep and support themselves by selling the sheep's wool. Sheep spend much of their time grazing on the land surrounding the town, called the town common. No family owns the land, and all the residents are allowed to graze their sheep on it. Allowing resident sheep to graze for free causes no problems when land is plentiful to feed their sheep. Everyone in the town is happy. With a growing number of sheep and a fixed amount of land, the land is grazed so heavily that it becomes barren eventually. With no grass left on the town common, raising sheep is impossible, and the town's once prosperous wool industry disappears. Many families lose their source of livelihood. The reason is that social and private incentives differ. In essence, the tragedy of the commons arises because of an externality. If the people acted together, they could reduce the sheep population to a size that the town common can support. Yet no single family has an incentive to reduce the size of its own flock because each flock represents only a small part of the problem. Because people neglect this negative externality when deciding how many sheep to own, the result is an excessive number of sheep. If the tragedy had been foreseen, the town could have solved the problem in various ways. For example, using the way that modern society deals with the problem of pollution. However, there is a simpler solution in the case of land. The town can divide the ownership of land among town families. In this way, the land becomes a private good rather than a common resource. This outcome in fact occurred during the enclosure movement in England in the 17th century. The story of the tragedy of the commons gives us an important lesson. Because of this negative externality, common resources tend to be used excessively. The ancient Greek philosopher Aristotle pointed out the problem with common resources. What is common to many is taken least care of, for all men have greater regard for what is their own than for what they possess in common with others. Principles of Economics How Markets Work Principles of Firm Behavior Principles of Income Distribution and Frontiers of Economics Principles of National Economy How Money and Exchange Rates Work How Economic Fluctuations and Economic Policy Work Translated into six languages and exported to the world The people of the world enjoy economics, 